Okay, I got some of the hardware, uh, the line poles and some links here. They're all clean with mineral spirits. I'm going to spray them flat black and make them disappear. So, that's the plan. Okay. Plenty of coats. It was drying pretty much as quick as I could put it on there. So, we'll let them dry out. Let them cook out here in the sun. Hi, so trying to trim away some of the vines and stuff out of this tree so my rope coming down is free. So that's the first step. And then I got all the uh, sorted stuff we'll be using ready to go here in the back of the truck. So that's it. We're at the beginning stages here. Okay, trees all trimmed up. The uh, pulley rope is installed up and down the tree and also uh, the antenna ropes already got a length enough to go up the tree back down the tree and it's just kind of laying over here on the ground somewhere there it is there's the end we're working on the other tree now down over there okay this side's done we're all the way up there pretty far those two branches sticking out to the right there right in the center and uh you can see the wire. There's the wire insulator. Down about where he is, you can see the center part. That's my friend Bob. He's going down to the other end. I'm going to raise it up in the air. So here's the setup. These two here are for the, the part with the pulley. And then this is the line that goes up through the pulley. goes over but I think I'm going to shift the down back see the other trees higher I think I'm going to shift that back another 15 20 feet and see if I can get up higher in the air because it's really I don't think it's high enough right now what's up I don't know how much you can see of it it's right in the middle of the screen going across. And uh, my rope, my property slopes, so I don't, they said 32 feet. Can't go any higher. Guess what time it is? <laughs> well, I shifted it back 22 feet, but you can't really see it here. I'm just doing this as a joke, the rain thing. So, I'm sitting in the truck right now. Okay, going up and down with the tree. Get back up. I mean, I'm so shaky, it looks like a hurricane anyway. Started to uh, rain just a little bit. I ran real fast and got a contractor's trash bag and threw the coax in it. You see it sitting over there in the corner of the fence. It wrapped electrical tape around it so it wouldn't get any water in the other end of it. Storm, I saw it coming, but I, I had I had the ballon above that fence post in the center of the picture over here. And the back tree is higher, so I shifted it and now it's above that fence. Really not as high as it should be, I don't think. The fence is four foot, so let's see. Maybe at 25 feet or something. I can still pull it up a little bit, but I want to see how it reacts to uh, the trees moving. Well, I decided to check on it about 10.30 after the rain and... Pulled it out of the insulator and shot the insulator and rope into the tree on the one end. And so I just went out and took the whole thing down.
and then I started to rain and I took a shower, got something to eat and laid down for a bit. I went outside and antenna was on the ground and I found that one of these loops had opened. But if I take this, I could just push it right back through with my hand and pull it right back out again. So I don't know if this crimp just wasn't heavy enough, but there's no, I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this one here and here. There's just some scuffing on here. There's no real indents. So I don't know if it even, like this part doesn't even look like it was crimped down enough. So I can just 